we're, uh, we're riding the 21 Polaris's uh, for the first time. This is our first time seeing them this morning. Uh, Jesse Logan, and what's your title at Polaris? Uh, development engineer, RMK. Okay, so this is the guy that's that's over what, what's happening with the RMK, the progression of the RMK and new developments. And speaking of new developments uh, for 21, you've got two big updates on these sleds. You've got the, the Quick Drive 2 yes. and the Series 8 track. Start with the Series 8 track um, because that's kind of going to be the new track going forward. And if, if you want kind of the lightest setup out there, you're going to be going to that track, right? Correct. So the biggest difference is on the track. We have a new lug profile design which is lighter than our 2.6 and it's also we moved to a 3.5 pitch when you're looking at 155 gets rid of 10 pitches in the track which means less weight less rotating mass it's going to spool up quicker less static weight you've taken the lug spacing so on the series 6 you're at 2.86 yes so that's 2.86 inches between every other lug span right yes so you've you've taken that and you spread it out to three and a half so now you're taking a bigger bite of snow so how do you design a lug that works best with that additional spacing but doesn't lose anything because you you had something going with that with that series six that was an awesome yes track. series six 2.6 track is a great track and you don't lose anything any of those characteristics with this track you gain being able to spool up and it's all in lug design when it comes to that so, so that comes from stiffness durometer durometer actually stayed the same on this track but it's lug design and how the back of the lug is supported by the spines that are actually on the track. Okay, so what are the spines the do? Because you've got spines on the front of the lug and on the back now. So what do they what do they do in there? Is that just support and controlling how much that? Yes, it's all pulse? stiffness. We're maintaining the characteristics from the two six. So we both have lift and bite, and then it's nice how the two six performs in both uh, more setup snow compared back to like a two four, and it's all tuning the stiffness as far as the the cup, and then the outside lugs are more bite and they're stiffer than the internal lugs can't say that we found a massive addition in traction due to just the pitch but it's a combination of the two we couldn't have like keeping this keeping the lugs the same from a 2.6 to a 2.7 to the and just stretching it to a three and a half inch pitch would not work that was taking this pitch like we've tried them in different pitches as well this lug design and it this is where we landed with the lug design we have in combination with the pitch. So what about the carcass of the track? Because this track is lighter, but it's not only just because it's a, a 3.5 pitch, right? Yes. The carcass is different. What, what have you done there? So that's a process that Camsel had come up with, but that's, it's a, it's slightly thinner and uses less rubber in the carcass of the track. And that gives us another weight advantage on top of losing the pitches in the track. You can lose weight and go thinner but maintain or exceed previous durability, right? Maintain durability. Okay. So what else on this track do we need to know about? Fiberglass rods the same, they're full width? Rods are the same, and the punching is the same. The way it drives off of the track, off the drivers is the same, except for it's three and a half inch pitch, lug profile, and carcass design. So this would be intended to be the replacement for a 2.6. So it's gonna be your lightest, fastest spooling track option, and it's gonna, give you the same characteristics that you felt with a 2.6 versus a 3 inch. Okay. And then overall weight compared to a 2.6. If you took a 2.6, 163 compared to this uh, 275, 165, what's the weight difference? So say? if you compare a, one, a 155, it's generally five pounds. Okay. And within, with tolerances in the track, it's gonna vary slightly, but five pounds. So 155 to 155, five pounds. Five, five pounds. pounds. Okay. And it'll be generally the same on a 165 since we're losing the same number of pitches. So with the with the track options, the 275 is going to come with the Quick Drive 2.0 and that is going to be also on the three inch option and then the 26 will come with the 2243, 43 being the lower uh, tooth count on the sprocket and the 50 being the lower tooth count on the sprocket. So in snow check, all three inch models will come with quick drive 2.0. I might need a ski pole. <laughs> hey, Rhett, you want to trade sleds? <laughs> 